Hello everyone, hope you guys are having an amazing day. XRP is around 55 cents, guys, but this is where it gets really spicy because Bitcoin about almost 35k, right? It's been moving up slowly but steadily. Now, if we check out why, perhaps, is because they're preparing for, again, this blow off top, perhaps, right? This bull run. Justin, 19,000 Bitcoin, about worth uh, $652 million, has been withdrawn from Binance, right? which means it's easier to push the price up, guys, because less selling pressure. And it's fascinating that these whales are just holding, right? And probably accumulating, guys. Not financial advice, but it seems like the data always wins. But at the same time, that's all happening. Check this out. Ripple advertising quite a lot during Premier League games, right? So that's interesting. Why is Ripple ramping up their ads, guys? Right? Not only that, we see Ripple, right? A lot of other um, cryptocurrencies has been as well, or have been as well, guys. Hmm. Preparing for, once again, bullish activity. Get ready for the reset. This will be the biggest transfer of wealth, guys. $300 billion man says reset is coming. XRP, XLM, gold, silver. So let's check this out. This is quite fascinating, guys. I, ha I didn't watch this yet. I'm going to watch it with you guys. Play any business person I've ever met in my life. I wanna switch it around and I wanna ask for some advice because all my viewers are young entrepreneurs or aspiring investors. The first thing I wanna talk about is that you've seen many ups and downs in the market. You've seen some of the worst crashes in history. Do you think we're headed for another market crash? Well, uh, I mean, there'll be, there'll be crashes and there'll be a final crash, a final crash from which there is no return. Wow, so there will be crashes, but wait a moment, there will be a final crash. And and at that point, there we'll be at the point of no return. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, I don't know if this is true, guys. That, that seems like crazy, right? Uh, I don't even know who this person is, but... Yeah, I, I believe that because there is social dissonance and there is uh, we don't have a financial solid financial basis anymore, even over the debt. And we just keep adding to the debt, so I think eventually it will collapse. And when it comes back, it will take some years to come back. The We've been seeing this, guys, right? The debt keeps piling up, guys. And then the he even used the collapse word. People don't, but we do, right? So there we go. Confirm, confirm, confirmed. And it will take years for it to come back exactly, which will be good for um, the people. But for the people who are invested at that point in time, uh-oh, no-go. Again, at that point, that's going to be the second wealth transfer. Right, because people can be buy, uh, people can buy assets very cheap, guys. Companies and the stocks will not exist when when the system comes back again. So there'll be a, so the stocks that you end up with will be burned. It's almost like a reset. Yeah, it will be a reset. So how can we prepare for that? How can somebody like me prepare for that? But my mother told me always, the only thing they can never take away from you is what you have learned. Wow, beautifully stated, guys. Right now. I do believe assets will be coming back though, right? So there's a little bit of difference of belief possibly um, over there or slightly. Um, well, actually, as we know, a lot of S coins and meme coins will disappear, but I'm talking about the utility coins and like utility stocks, guys. They, they will definitely come back, not financial advice. Now, guys, we're on part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is called quite interesting. Yesterday was one the one year anniversary of when David flipped his name upside down on 10 28 22. Okay, this is so weird. Why? Why did David Schwartz flip his name upside down? You guys know what that means. Everything will be what flipped on his head, guys, right around this specific time frame. That's so strange. David Schwartz obviously knows because, not to mention, Archie just came out. Merry Christmas, but it's Halloween. Didn't David Schwartz talk about? Um, it's uh, it feels like Christmas, but it's Halloween, guys, or or something very similar, right? Paraphrasing like that. Interesting. And then he's like kind of celebrating a little bit. I don't know. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. This is why. Okay. So if I if if we connect the dots here and there, I think this this is the time frame of the supposed reset, as we just talked about. The year is unknown, though. We have speculated on my timeline, it's going to be 24 or 25, right? 2024, 2025. But take it with a grain of salt because we are not insiders nor are we riddlers, guys, right? But it surely seems like some people are definitely in the know, except us, <laughs> which is crazy. But again, all these all these events are accelerating towards that climax point. 
from Iran observer uh, Moses staff hacker group warning Israel guys again here comes this cyber attack narratives don't we see it's already beginning and and then WW3 is trending as well guys if you guys can like today's video really appreciate spread spread the news spread the word things are about to get hectic it seems as next few years is about to become it's about to be a roller coaster So over there, they say to something, guys. Um, okay, I thought they were going to talk, honestly. But, quote, you will, you will undergo irreparable uh, damage in the field of cyber and infrastructure. From now on, you should uh, pay for each spilled that. Wait for huge combined attacks. Our target is clear, specified, and accurate, end quote. Wow, guys. Right? Their name, even. What, what is that? Um, crazy. But, again, guys, look at this more narratives brewing like we've been talking about but people I, I guess people just can't see it and we just got confirm 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 9-11 is upon us folks 9-11 is upon us guys 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 president bush threw the first pitch at the world series last night two days ago the last time bush threw the first pitch was right after nine space 11 right before a major space war i'm sure it's just a space coincidence what just happened Look, look at this guys look look how it's all subliminal programming it happens time and time and time again it's upon us guys the great ritual the great alchemical ritual please welcome the 43rd president of the united states of america george w bush not to mention i mean side by side so this was this this was um this took place in 2001 and this is 2023 guys look at how similar the two videos are much more of a police presence you go through the magnetometer hand search this had enough and then we know what happened right so it's weird, isn't it? Super weird because foreshadowing at the 119th World Series, guys. Wait, wait, wait a moment. What? Hold on a minute. Wait. This, I had to search this up because this was absolutely ridiculous. So, 2023 World Series, okay? The 2023 World Series is a cha is the championship uh, championship series of Major League Baseballs, okay? 2023 season. And the 119th edition of the World Series. You can't make that stuff up. I'm done. What? Look Look what happened here, guys. Right? The last time he threw it was right after that took place. And then, this time he threw, he threw, this time he threw it, it's at the 119th World Series, guys. Right? You just can't make that stuff up. You literally can't. Interesting, the letter represents truth. Wow, 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 wow. Remember when I told you that number 43 is used for destruction and that 1029 is connected to, quote, war, and the 43rd President Bush, uh, coincidence that the 43rd President just threw the first pitch of the World Series in the 43rd week, guys. Wait, what? And today is 1029 as well, right? L look how it's all pre-planned, right? Everything is guys. It's all planned ahead of time. It, it literally all is right. Let's not let's not let's try to connect the dots and not make stuff up Why? It's so it's time perfectly guys because ww3 is trending why they will have ww3 Breaking approximately 50 United States military transport planes flew in the Middle East within 24 hours There will be an escalation guys and then you guys want to know what's crazy It's crazy because this is all heading towards the reset. It's crazy because if I see Bitcoin at 90k, right, new all-time highs, all these things, I'm cashing out, right? I'll leave some there, but if we see the collapse, I'm, I'm, I'm investing back in, guys, right? But this is so sad because look, 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 
the reason why I think these uh, all these events happen, guys, is because they need someone to blame, right? Let's say magically today the, the stock market collapsed, and the reset is here, right? If, if the reset was here, that would that couldn't happen without an excuse, because the people will then start to space 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 rise against space them. So if they have an excuse, they can't, right? The people will be distracted and things like that, guys. You guys know what I mean. Iran's FM, they press the button. I believe he means that the ground offense has started, guys. Uh, urgent alert. Minutes ago, Israel officially crossed the line. Iran set. Look at this, guys. It's just accelerating. This is just saddening. Right? So sad. But we, we told you, they don't care what happens, guys. They will fulfill their end goal. Their end goal, I believe, is to bring upon a new financial system. But not only that, to fulfill the prophecy, supposedly. What? Israel cut all ties with Starlink. Not to mention, I'm, I, this has to be the craziest thing in my life, guys. We told you that Starlink will be up and running, right? Everyone will be on Starlink at one point in time. These are all the narratives to push this specific product as well, guys. Right? It's the craziest thing how these people honestly are so ahead. It's just mind-boggling. It, 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 they, I don't know, guys. We, we, we basically got to give them credit because it seems like people can't see through them, right? Elon Musk is playing both sides, it seems, as, oh, the irony. Iran wants war. Look how close they put their country to our military bases, right? Bases. And then, Justin, German defense minister, sees danger of war in Europe. The, mil uh, the military and society must become fit for war. Wow. This is happening. It's beginning, guys, right? Can't make any of this stuff up from Kim.com. When it's all over, the world will be destroyed. And they will sit in their nuclear bunkers and still blame that country, nation. Humanity is rapidly approaching the end of civilization as we know it. If you want to live more, if you want to live, move to the far south. The sooner the better. Now I'm not here to fear monger. Now I'm not here to fear monger, guys, but I wouldn't be afraid of what's upcoming. Let's just put it that way. Right, let's just say neutral, be, be um, positive, even though there's a lot of negativity happening and, and that will probably surround us guys the closer we get to that collapse. But don't let them, don't let them feed off you, basically. Not for nature vice, let us see what happens. At the end, I still do believe peace will be brought forth onto this world. Not for nature vice, not for nature vice. But anyways, I hope you guys made this. See ya, not for nature vice.